Uh, just Matt, just in general, I mean, what, um, how have you seen the, the line and the offense in general uh, progress over the course of camp? You just, how do you think you guys are, are better you know, going into week one than you were when uh, uh, I feel like we've started? raised a level of accountability in this group you know, for, the, uh, for the team, just taking more accountability for the offense, you know, being responsible for the run game. Um, you know, definitely just raising our uh, level of uh, accountability in terms of just our play, you know, what's on film, you know, being accountable for the things that you mess up on and things that you do good. Um, you know, I feel like we've taken those strides. I guess speaking to that run game specifically, um, it seems like there's been a lot of talk about really using the perimeter and obviously you've got some guys that you've added that are seem to be pretty fast you know kind of one cut guys that can get up field really quickly sean jalen i'm not asking for the whole playbook but is there going to be more of that kind of idea of maybe trying to stretch defenses east west with some of those those speedier backs you guys have this year uh definitely speed is a advantage for us but uh i mean we just try as of right now i don't really focus on that i'm just focused on my group and um you know going North and south, or north, moving through, moving through D lines, and stuff. Um, kind of just focusing on, you know, playing, playing good ball, playing, playing good, playing good O line. Yeah, I can't really go too deep about that. Yeah. I guess as far as the accountability you were mentioning, what has changed? Is, is there any examples you can think of of like, you know? We were trying to keep ourselves more accountable. Can you just kind of go into more depth about that? Yeah, um, in the O-line room, I mean, is so a big thing was player-led uh, mm -hmm. being a main point for Coach Allen and uh, Coach Bell uh, starting this year. And, you know, in the O-line room, uh, the leaders, me, uh, Haggard, Kadic, um, all of us, we put a premium on, you know, saying being being active on the field and, um, you know, paying huge attention to loafs. You know, if you're standing around on the field, you know, you're going to have up downs when you get on the sideline, you know, and miss assignments. You know what I'm saying? We'll, take, we'll handle that in the O line room. Um, things like, you know, uh, just just not being present on the field. You know what I'm saying? Those things, you know, there's going to be repercussions for that, you know, uh, not taking care of your business. So that's, that's, just a, that's just a small example. But, um, you know, we just kind of attack that every day, just being active and being, you know, the, the, the majority on the field. Because the O-line makes up the majority of the offense. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, that's, that's just what we've been focusing on. Hey, Matt, uh, watching film of Illinois, just what's your overall impression of their defensive front and the challenges that they'll bring on Friday? Uh, they got some athletic guys, um, specifically talking about the guys that I focus on, 88 and uh, 4. Uh, those guys are, um, they can get a good rush out of, uh, out of four eyes. But, um, I mean, <laughs> we're just kind of focused on this game and just may, and just working that out during this week. So, Yeah, well, you mentioned the scheme there. What specifically have you noticed with their defensive scheme? Obviously, they've played a game already. So are there anything specific that you notice uh, that your group should be working on ahead of the game? Uh, they do a lot of odd jam. So, like, uh, this is uh, Three down linemen with the uh, two overhangs, and uh, just working transitions. You know when they bail out, you having to be able to get our guards back inside, so our, our uh, center's not on the island. But um, yeah, this has just kind of been mainly what we've been working on the uh, eye jam look. Yeah, out of them. Yeah, Matthew, uh, just kind of talking more on the the player led. Do you think that's kind of kind of puts your guys? fate as a team and what you're able to do on the field more in your hands? Like, does it feel kind of more like the destiny of the team is in your hands a little bit more now? Definitely. That's uh, not at the player that part of it takes a little bit, not takes off, takes off of the coaches, but puts more emphasis on us and being more responsible for, you know, making sure the calls are right, making sure the guy behind you is locked in and ready to go if you can't, you know what I'm saying, those things. Um, that's where the player that part really came into play, came into play this year, just being ready, you know, paying, taking huge accountability and being ready when you're called. And, um, you know, in the O-line room, again, the twos, the threes, all those guys, they are ready just like I am to get on the field and prepare and, you know, put this team in the best position to uh, succeed on game day, you know. So. I guess with uh, Jack and Connor, uh, how would you just describe both of them uh, what what do you just enjoy about you know each each one individually? Yeah, um, honestly, like I can say both of them. I, I love both of them. Honestly, it's not much of a drop off between both of them. I mean, 
both of them are field generals. They command the O-line. They command the offense. Um, they know where, where, where the ball needs to go. Um, they know, you know, us as an O-line. They know their O-linemen. They know, OK, this guy has certain problems with this. You know, how can I best help him in this situation? Or, you know, so just, just both guys are so on point because, you know, they're, they're both, up until this point, been working for a job and kind of still are. So, uh, I mean, I haven't seen much of a drop off uh, between Tuttle and, and Connor, honestly. So it's kind of even, <laughs> kind of break even.